Righteous Georgians. The Georgian era saw lots of advancements, like the agricultural revolution, which all started with the humble turnip. <clears throat> Good morning. This was a perfectly simple task. I asked you vegetables to take these turnips and turn them into cash. You lot, who was your project manager? I was. And what did you bring to the table, Wiggy? I prefer the name the Second Viscount Townsend. No, no, I'm not impressed, Wiggy. I'm a lord. Answer the question. Well, Lord Sugar, I'm a politician. I served for a decade as Secretary of State with responsibility for directing British foreign policy. Was he a good project manager? I might have been better, but I... <laughs> I hardly think so. Actually, I've been in charge of all sorts of things. Such as? Two pigs, a goat. Goat died. Boo hoo. Right, that's enough of you, Wiggy. I'm sick of hearing from you. It's Team Whig with an H, named after my political party. Don't try and make me look stupid. You're the one that looks stupid. Right, you lot. I believe you've called yourself Team Go Wurzel. Go Wurzel. Go Wurzel. Go Wurzel. What did you lot do with my turnips? We, we made soup. Turnip soup. What other kind of soup are you going to make with turnips, son? Lobster bisque. Is there a market for turnip soup? Team Go Wurzel never really found out. They ate all the soup themselves. Can I get a rewind? You ate all of my soup. We are starving. Anyway, he ate the most of it. I never yeah, you did. did. You know, you... I mean, you're you're, you're greedy. No one's having it. Let's hope Team Wig did better. We planted them. Actually, Lord Sugar, I think it was Phil who planted them. I'm a Georgian gent. I never get my hands dirty. I'm more the uh, ideas person. Yeah, I only do the actual work person. Why did you plant them? Well. I noticed that British farmers were using a three-year crop rotation cycle. Two years of crops with one year crop free. As I understand it, Lord Sugar, it's to give the soil the chance to become fertile again. But planting turnips restores nitrogen to the soil, so you can make the soil fertile again and grow a crop at the same time. I've implemented a new four-year crop rotation Oh, I now is it, suddenly. I think you'll find we implemented it, actually. I uh, have implemented a four-year crop rotation cycle where the field is never empty. Does it work? Well, it has vastly increased the productivity. Farmers can now produce a lot more food per field. It's like a revolution in agriculture, Lord Sugar. If I wanted your opinion, Sunbeam, I'd have asked for it. You might say it's an agricultural revolution. That's very good, that, Karen. I like that. So, was this your idea, Wiggy? Well, no. Dutch farmers have been doing it for a while. So you nicked it? I prefer the term borrowed. Industrial espionage. Well done. So, Team Go Wurzel here took my turnips, made turnip soup out of them and then ate it, whereas Team Wiggy here have taken my turnips and revolutionised the way farming is done in Britain. Team Go Wurzel, you're fine. OK, thank you. Team Wiggy, I've got a treat for you. You are going away for a weekend in the country where you will stay in a luxury mansion, go horse riding and sleep in a four-poster bed. You're sending me home? But I, I, I thought we won. For his hugely important contribution to the agricultural revolution, the second Viscount Townsend was given a new title. He was known evermore as Turnip Townsend. <laughs> Unlucky turnip. And the Georgian agricultural revolution led, in turn, to an industrial revolution, which not everybody was happy about. Hope you enjoyed... Horrible Histories! Say when? 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 Good man? Uh, when? <laughs> when? <laughs> Marcus lost for words there. Time for those all-important scores. Well, I thought the food was... It's a two from Marcus. A naught from Sybil, which just leaves Derek. <laughs> it's a ten!